guys. <clears throat> I just came out in the tinny this morning, stuffing around here, looking, really looking for a bit of bird activity to see if the, the yellowfin have moved in yet. And I've just come across this spot that is <laughs> next level crazy. Heaps of structure, currents ripping through, a uh, bit of bait around the edges. Every now and again, I'm seeing like a little blue flash and stuff down here. So I don't even know, are they bait fish? Let's put this on. Can you see the bait fish down here? Or well, those blue, that blue, don't know what they are, they're small fish, small blue fish, so yeah. Let's throw a couple of poppers around, Let's see if we can get something to eat. Oh, look at that bait out there. It's gotta be something to eat in that, at least stalking it. Just cast past them a bit. Whoop. Come on. Come on. Right, I think we need to go back and set another drift because all the action is definitely over that side. Let me pop this way. I don't know what that was. Sort of came behind like a shark, so I'm hoping it's not a shark. Woo! <laughs> we are in. What do we got? <sighs> I don't think it's a GT. I think it's a shark, guys. It's fighting like a shark. Probably go mental when it sees the boat. Where are you? Yeah, shark. Shit! Oh, bait everywhere here too. Wonder if I'll be able to get my popper back. Man, I'm making a habit of this shit. Look at the fish following him. You don't want to be in the small boat when this shit happens. Look at the Mackies swimming with them. I find that often when I'm spearing that when there's a shark cruising, the Mackies aren't far behind. Man, this thing's placid as. It's got to go mental at some point. All right, I'm going to have to get organized here because I wouldn't mind getting that popper back. Let's see, what can we do? Get this up there. It's a pretty decent sized shark. Can you just spit that out for me? All right, let's get rid of this one too. 
this in here. Maybe if he's gonna just be gentle, maybe. They always go mental at some point. All right, let's not get our fingers bit. All right, trebles are out. It's just that. You know what? He's just holding it. He's just holding it. Let go, dude. Come on. You're allowed to let go. You got some nice teeth. Um. I knew you were gonna do that. All right, now I can get you. All right, let me, let me do this. Ah, come on. It's just like getting your wisdom teeth out, mate. Oh, come on. This will work. Come on. This treble is way too close to my hand for comfort. Ten more seconds. All right. There you go. Oh. Well, pretty good result. He just swam off with the hook in the corner. That'll rust out in like no time. And the bait are still going mental over here. So I'm going to chuck another hook on the back of that popper and uh, have another crack at it. Shark fin. Coming in for a look. Here he is. Tiny little reef shark. Check that out. <laughs> Another one. Two swimming next to each other. How sick's that? Man, they are awesome. Look at this, how cool are they? They're chilled out. You know what's crazy is the amount of sharks around at the moment. Obviously I got that shark yesterday with Andy. Got that shark this morning. These couple sharks swimming around. And five, six days ago, me, Morgs, Denver and Beck were going for a kayak and a swim just out in front of our house in some of the like sandy area. And um, Beck's like, oh my God, there's a big bust up. And I'm like, hell no, that's not a bust up. That's a big shark. So we paddled back in, um, got into the tinny and went out there and there was a huge tiger shark um, trying to eat a turtle. Uh, we have plenty of turtles in front of our house. Um, yeah, so there's this huge tiger shark trying to eat a turtle and uh, 
I had the GoPro and I was doing a bit of filming, so I got a little bit of footage, but the kids were freaking out. Uh, so we had to turn around and go back and then we, uh, we lost it. But um, I'll roll on those clips now, share that with you. I'll turn the volume on that down so you don't have to hear the kids losing the plot. And uh, but pretty amazing, pretty stunning. And the turtle got away. So for all you people that are uh, worried about the turtle, um, you know, it's obviously it's just nature unfolding, but that turtle got away and it was awesome how it would just turn itself to always face the, like its shell to the, this tiger. And like the tiger's, tiger shark's head was like that big. It was massive. It was about four meters long, I reckon. And um, there were just some scratches on the back of the turtle shell, but yeah, the turtle ended up getting away. So yeah, check this out. Okay guys, so the shark action is hot and the fishing action is slow. So I thought I would stop by for a bit of a swim at one of my favorite little spots and also do, do my part towards an initiative that I found yesterday up on uh, YouTube. And that's Team Seas. There's a couple of big YouTube guys that have started this initiative and they're trying to raise $30 million to remove 30 million pounds of rubbish out of the ocean. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my part now. Not only am I going to collect rubbish off of my favorite little spot. Look at this. Like to walk on here, there's no footprints here, right? This is, I've just landed here. And look, it's like this just about every time we come. You know, we are out in the middle of the ocean, middle of the bay here. And this rubbish washes up like this all the time. I'm always taking a boatload of rubbish back whenever I come here. So I'm gonna collect this rubbish and me, my daughters and my wife, we're gonna to donate to Team Seas. We're gonna give our weekly pocket money for the next few weeks, every week uh, to Team Seas and do our part to clean up the ocean because the ocean is no one's and the ocean is everyone's. And it's all of us, it, it comes down to all of us to make sure that we look after and we protect it and that the planet is healthy for us and the future. So what I'm gonna do is I'll leave a link in the description of this video so that you can donate if you can. Every dollar helps, obviously. If you can't, just get out and pick some up. Look, I have walked around here for two minutes and I've grabbed this rubbish this much rubbish on this little sand island in two minutes. So get down to your local beach, get down to your local waterway, collect some of this rubbish and be a part of the most amazing thing that I've ever seen. You know, this is such an amazing initiative with good people with good influence um, can do great things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Not a lot of fishing action, definitely a lot of shark action, but things are starting to, the season's starting to change and I can guarantee you over the coming weeks and months that the GT action is gonna fire up big time. So wherever you are around the world, have a bloody awesome day and I'll see you in the next video, guys.